the 92X. First, we'll show that it's safe. That's a dummy round in there. No rounds in the mag. All right. Bump my camera. So let's uh, talk about this pistol. All right. First of all, there are a lot of people in the world that uh, hate this pistol. Just don't like it. A lot of these guys come out of the military and they had bad experiences with their Beretta 92, their M9 rather. And to this day, they want nothing to do with this pistol. They're under the impression it's unreliable. That it's a piece of junk. Well, what's the reason that a lot of military guys have that experience? Well, think about it. You inherit one of these, or one of those M9s from the guy who, was, who served ahead of you. Um, you're getting hand-me-downs. And the armorers uh, are infamous uh, for just not maintaining these pistols. And uh, it is a fact that the U.S. military went to the lowest bidder for their third-party magazines. And as a result, I mean, not having used the Beretta Mechgar magazines, it isn't surprising that they had reliability issues. So that's something to keep in mind. And the early M9s and Beretta 92s, they had um, the first and second gen, mainly first gen was the problematic uh, locking blocks. But uh, that's history. And let's talk about the pistol in itself, apart from the way it was poorly treated by the military, or specifically its armorers. Uh, this design, this Beretta design with the open top, it's extremely reliable. Um, despite the experiences of many in the military, individual members with individual Berettas, on the whole, this weapon has decades of proven use in extremely challenging environments. Uh, all those environments encountered by the U.S. military for decades. This is a very long-serving duty pistol that uh, the U.S. military had for its... Uh, soldiers for quite a long time ah oh, that's my puppy barking i'll uh, please excuse me now for uh, those kinds of interruptions all right um so the design is extremely reliable um if you look at this uh, slide lever here this is extremely generous all of the controls on here are easy to uh, manipulate and uh it's very well placed as well a lot of the times on uh pistols your your thumbs will interfere with the uh, slide release or slide catch slide stop whatever the term is for you um, but it's very well placed here all right um, one thing I should point out too is that the, there's more than one 92 X out there this is the 92 X there is also something called the 92 X performance now that pistol is uh, was designed for competition. It's a steel slide as opposed to the aluminum slide of this weapon. And uh, it's got some other features, but uh, it's very expensive and extremely heavy. Uh, this is made for duty and for personal uh, protection uh, purposes, home defense, uh, not, uh, you know, basically for, to be carried. The uh, 92X performance is made for competition. All right, before we get to talking about a lot of the features of this pistol as it comes from the factory, I should point out a couple of the modifications to this pistol that I made so you don't confuse them for you know, factory uh, specs. All right, so first you'll notice that this, this pistol has a, a Hogue finger groove grip. Um, the grips that it originally came with were these these are great grips very grabby but not overly abrasive outstanding grips really like them they're not on here because i prefer the rubberized hogue grips especially the finger groove grips these just screw right in it's very easy to take them uh, to replace the uh, the original ones with those or go back if that's what i wanted to do so that's one mod that I made. Uh, another mod that I made 
was this fluted stainless steel guide rod, which I much prefer to the stock. Um, I got that from Wilson Combat. And last but certainly not least, That front sight right there is a Trigicon, Trigicon HD, and it is an outstanding front sight post. You can see that that yellow just pops right out at you. Works very well with the blacked out rear, serrated rear. Great combat sight. They, they come with uh, orange sights, but the dot's a lot smaller. A lot harder to acquire in my 50 plus years eyes. I uh, really appreciate that giant yellow dot. It's almost as good as a red dot without all the money. All right, so those are the modifications that I made to this pistol. Let's talk about how the, uh, the 92X, the advances that Beretta made with its 90 series pistol, the 92 or M9, when it came out with this 92X. See the 92X designation there. All right, um, first thing you're going to want to pay attention to, and I guess we'll use my discussion of the uh, the modification I used in uh, putting this uh, Trigicon site on here, is that I could do so. With the Beretta M9s, the original 92s, the front sight post was a part of the slide. Now... Uh, Beretta adopted for the 92X the M983 style vertex slide with the dovetail, both front and back. If you don't like the sights on your on the 92X that it came with, and they're good sights, um, but like I, uh, I wanted like myself, I wanted the uh, change out the front sight to the uh, Trigicon HD, which is one of my go-to uh, front sight, and I was able to do so because they're now dovetailed. That's huge. That was one of the major drawbacks, in the opinion of many, to the original M9 and 92F series of pistols. So that's been fixed. And that's the thing about the 92X. Beretta was listening to decades of complaints um, and uh, feedback from its customer base. And that's one of them, right there. Vertex slide with the dovetail uh, sides. Uh, what else? Well. You'll note the grip right away. It's a vertex grip. It's a straight back. It doesn't have that big hump. I once owned a 92, and I couldn't get used to it because I have medium-sized hands at best, between small and medium-sized hands. With the 92X, it's very comfortable, very ergonomic, very pointable. So that drawback for many has been removed by giving the 92X this Vertec grip. Um, and you can, if you like all the features of the X over the 92 series, the original 92s, and you want that Beretta hump, you can buy on the website uh, rubberized, I believe that's also made by Hogue, grip that you can put on there and install very easily. Um, so you can have that if that's what you want. All right, what else? Another new feature of the X series is the utility rail, where you can mount your lights, lasers. All right, very standard. You can mount any light on this pistol that you can mount on any other pistol. It's a modernizing uh, move by Beretta to bring the 92 up to the modern age when that's now basically expected. All right. And as I said before, this, uh, the 92X and other modern Berettas, they have the third generation locking block. So the reliability issues of the first generation locking block have been fixed, first by the Gen 2 and then made even superior by the Gen 3. Uh, so that's another big move there. And plus it has the D main spring, hammer spring there to give it a great crisp light trigger compared to the original. Now, that's what the 92X comes with, is that lightened spring. And you'll notice the difference in the trigger pull immediately if you're familiar with Beretta pistols. 
what an improvement that is um, over the original. Also to note here is this extended mag release. It's very easy to find, but it's not obnoxious. It doesn't get in the way, but it's very easy to, to manipulate for many without even having to break your grip. Poke, pokes right up, but not too far in my view. A little view there of how that looks, if you like that kind of thing. And it's highly texturized. All right. So the extended mag release, what else? We got a uh, beveled mag well here. So make sure inserting your mags that much easier, faster. So beveled mag well. This pistol also comes with a crowned barrel, recessed in crown. Text the, the rifling. Um, the original Berettas had vertical uh, uh, lines back here, which accomplished nothing to reduce, help you reduce uh, recoil. They got this much better pattern here, this uh, checkering on the back strap. And it's on the front strap as well, but it's obscured by the, uh, the hoe grips that I chosen to put on here. So also got the rounded trigger guard. Bump my camera again. Got the rounded trigger guard. A lot of people prefer that. That's a matter of taste, I suppose. And they come with, you know, some of the best mags in the world. These metal mags are outstanding quality. They come in with 17 rounds now. Not 15 like in the like in the day. And not only do they come with these 17 round Mikkar mags, and when it says made in Italy with a metal mag, you can be sure that it's a Mikkar mag. But they also come with these, uh, or these are available. These Mikkar mags come in 18, and if you'll see here, it's actually more flush. Actually more flush than the 17 round mag. So you can get those easily and have 18 plus one. And that is a great amount of capacity. More than, uh, you know, Glock 17s, et cetera. And uh, great pistol. All right. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the specifics of this pistol. I, I, I pointed out three of my mods doing the Wilson Combat fluted guide rod, the stainless steel guide rod, and then I changed out the front sight, put on the new grip. But when I bought this, I bought this from Langdon Tactical. And when I bought it, I had them uh, put the improved trigger bar in it. I don't know how it's improved, but it wasn't expensive, and I got the improved trigger bar. Um, Langdon gave this his famous trigger job. So the trigger pull on the first... DA pull is very smooth, not very stagey, but you know it's heavy it's the way DASA is supposed to be. It's a little lighter than it was when it came from the factory, I'm sure. But let's uh, pull the trigger, mimic slide recycling. All right, or cycling, I should say. Uh, watch this reset. That's it. And there's no take up. It's right there. Extremely crisp, short recess. You know, the 92X, as it comes from the factory, has a short reset trigger in it. And you'll really appreciate it, even if you get the factory uh, version of this gun without the Langdon trigger job. But this does have the Langdon trigger job, and it's unparalleled. It is awesome. Short reset triggers are great for personal defense because a lot of people are throwing their rounds all over the place after the first round especially. But if you can have a short reset, that really improves the follow-up shots. You're not going to be yanking this pistol all over the place under stress when you're doing your follow-up shots because there's no chance for the pistol's you know, side alignment to be disturbed by slapping that trigger around or pulling the trigger really hard because there's not nothing there. It comes off the wall after you've fired. 
and there's just nothing else there. It's right there. If you get the Langan trigger job on any Beretta or any of his pistols that he modifies, you'll be very, very happy with it. I've had two pistols from him with uh, his trigger job, and it's a game changer. All right, one thing I'll point out too, I asked Langdon, the guys at Langdon when they sent me this to make it a Type G. Well, this 92X, like most uh, defensive uh, carriers and uh, officers who might still, for some reason, be carrying a 92 of some kind, went with a Type G. You go with a Type G because if you were in the military and you had the M9, you would probably, you probably know that when you pinch the uh, slide in order to rack it, a lot of the times, you would actuate the uh, the safety. This is ordinarily serves in the old models as a Type F pistol, which means it was a thumb safety and a decocker. But when you pinch the slide like that in order to rack it, a lot of soldiers and Marines were having issues where it would activate the safety and feel the trigger. And at need, you don't want that happening. So that was a major complaint. Well, it's as easy as pie now to get yourself a Type G, uh, Beretta 92, and a 92X especially, um, where it serves only as a hammer decocker. And it springs right back into action. Notice that it's right back in its firing position. You can't accidentally kick on the safety because this is no longer a safety. It's a decocker only, and that's what Type G means. All right, let's move on to talk a little bit about why a person would want to carry, in this day and age, a large steel over aluminum DASA pistol. Well, one reason is it's all metal. It's very durable. This kind of pistol is going to have very large controls. A, a full-size pistol will have full-size controls, easier to manipulate when you're under stress of a defensive gun use. It's going to have the full-size gun is going to have a longer barrel. The longer barrel is going to translate into, you know, greater velocity. Memory serves for every inch of barrel that you add, you add around 50 feet per second. And higher velocity is going to mean that your, your defensive rounds are going to perform better. Bullets perform better at high speeds. Your hollow points are going to expand fully, more fully. You have more reliably uh, fully if you have a full size pistol. Uh, this has a 4.7 inch barrel. Um, and that's also the longer barrel, you know, it's going to be in the longer distance between your front and back sights, a, a longer sight radius. That's going to translate into better accuracy as well. Um, what else? A full-size pistol is going to have um, greater capacity. You know, you're walking into a situation with 18 plus 1 or 17 plus 1. More is better than less. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Also, with a full-size gun, especially a uh, a steel gun, a steel and aluminum, all metal gun. I mean, uh, there's going to be less severe recoil impulse, and so it's going to absorb those that recoil a little better for better follow-up shots. Uh, if you need to have follow-up shots to save your life, and you know if. If you if you knew you were going into a gunfight when you left the house, well, I was going to say you'd take a full size pistol. Obviously, if you knew you were going to get in a gunfight if you left the house, you wouldn't leave the house if you're smart. However, if you had to leave the house and you knew you were going to get a gunfight, get in a gunfight, you'd take a rifle, you'd take a shotgun. But that's not practical most of the time. So if you knew you were going to get in a gunfight and you needed to save your life with a pistol. You would take a full size pistol. And keep in mind that the idea here is not to carry in order to carry. I put a gun on of any size. Well, I'm carrying, I'm good. No, not all carrying is equal. You're not carrying just to carry, you're carrying to 
get in and win a gunfight. That's why you're wearing a gun. So I usually carry full-size duty guns when I get in. Nothing smaller than like a G45. Unless it's got other attributes, which I can talk about in another video, and I intend to. But as a rule, I'm carrying full-size duty guns because I'm carrying in case I have to get into a gunfight, in case I have to defend my life with a pistol. Um, why should you carry a DASA pistol in this day and age with all these wonderful striker fire guns out there like Glocks and the 6320 and Walters and everything else? Well, DASA, you know, might be old tech, but it has its advantages. One advantage is it's a safer carry option than striker fire guns. Ordinarily, as a rule, a DASA pistol will be a safer option to carry. And that's because they're a lot harder to just set off inadvertently, negligently, than a striker fired pistol. There's not a lot of poundage between you and a negligent discharge on a striker fired pistol, but on a DASA pistol, you not only got a longer pull, you've got a heavier pull. That's hard to set off inadvertently, even on holstering. The good thing about holstering is if you're going to holster your pistol, I mean, what I would recommend is that you put it in the holster and then put it on your body. But if you've got your holster on your body already and you go to holster it, you know, you're always in danger in holstering a pistol when it's on your body. Uh, that A garment or some other item is going to get in, in that trigger guard, set it off, cause you serious bodily injury or worse. So the DASA, hammer-fired kind of pistol, you can, as you go to holster it, you can put your thumb on the hammer. And as you go to holster it, obviously my dog agrees with me, as you go to holster it, um, you can feel if anything's starting to push on there. And just a little weight on that hammer will prevent that from that trigger from going off. That's a big advantage to a DASA pistol, even today. A great option as well, for that reason and others, for a new shooter to start with a DASA pistol and then move on to striker fire later once they increase their competence and confidence. All right. Downside to a DASA trigger, though, as opposed to a striker fire gun, is obviously a striker fire pistol has a more consistent trigger pull, trigger pull from start to finish. And that's an advantage. But with a little bit of training, you can become very familiar with how this operates. And you can get used to starting to, to, to pull the trigger when you're punching out to your target to acquire your sight. So where you have a very small pull by the time you get there, and it's very similar to single action pull follow-up shot. A little training remedies that drawback. All right, so that's why you should carry or consider carrying a DASA pistol, even in uh, today's day and age. Well, why carry the 92X in particular? There's, a, there's, there's several DASA hammer-fired pistols out there. Well, you know, all those reasons I mentioned about uh, carrying a large frame pistol, although this does come in smaller varieties, why would I carry a 92X? This pistol and this design is extremely reliable and extremely durable. Like I said, it's open top design. Makes not only for extreme reliability, but also makes it a flatter shooting pistol so that you can reacquire your sights faster. That's something that other pistols don't have, that open top design. Unlike the tilting browning design, where the barrel tilts up when the slide cycles back. Note the position of the, uh, I guess I'll make this a little bit more vivid. If you note the position of the uh, round at the top of the magazine with respect to the chamber, you can see that it's going basically straight in there. The barrel's not tilting to allow the round to get channeled up into the chamber. That also makes for increased reliability. And with the lack of a tilting barrel every time the slide cycles, uh, a degree, perhaps, of uh, less, perhaps, of uh, muzzle rise. All right. Another thing about the Berta 92X you're getting is the Bruneton finish. It's extremely durable, very tough, very long-lasting. Should last you a lifetime if you take care of it. 
Other thing is Beretta has been making pistols, been making firearms, I should say, for five centuries. You heard that correctly. Beretta has been making firearms for 500 years. And the 90 series is their most proven line of pistols. That should carry some weight. They've had a long time to develop the master, the art of making firearms. The 92X is the step up, the bringing into the modern age of that proven design, that 90 series design. So the X, the X version has all the merits of the 92 and M9 series of pistols, but it's eliminated the drawbacks and it's brought it into the 21st century with modern features that we've come to expect, you know, the rail, the dovetail sights, the beveled magwell, the ergonomic vertex grip, great mag release, great trigger, even without the Langdon trigger job that this one has. The capacity is now up to modern standards with 17 to 18 rounds, over 15 of the M9. Got the crown barrel. And it's very usable with gloves, with the large controls, the large trigger guard. In other words, it's got the old tech reliability, but it's got the new tech with respect to features. So it's a great pistol. Highly recommend it. Always carry this confidently. And you can perform your administrative tasks with it, tasks with it you know, observing all the safety rules at all times, of course. However, you've got that added feature of an extremely long and arduous trigger pull on the DA first shot. And then when you you need to keep shooting, there is virtually no trigger pull. Follow-up shots are likely to be much faster and more accurate. That's the 92X. Thanks for watching.